Hello, I'm Asia Upchurch. I am the founder and director of Hip Hop X. And this past spring of 2023, we put on the seventh annual Can't Stop Hip Hop Conference. And in 2023, across the globe, everyone has been taking a moment to nod 50 years of documented hip hop culture. Now, we can debate how do you track the age of a culture, but let's just say this year's event really celebrated how long hip hop has lasted, where it's still gonna keep going, and it definitely had a whole lot of fun. So in the seventh year, and in this year of really having an opportunity to say, where has hip hop been? Where is it now? And where might it go? We made our theme on and on to the next 50 and beyond. And with that title, we really wanted to be intentional around having intergenerational programming. So that meant panels with young folks and more seasoned folks talking about what hip hop culture means to them and how they transformed it into educational and even activism vehicles. On our opening night on Friday, we did what we always do for the past few years, and we had a kickoff jam. We had groups come in from Kentucky, we had folks here from the Boston, Cambridge area, and we had a panel with activists who are teenagers and an activist who is definitely a veteran and respected OG in the game come together and talk about why hip hop is such a powerful vehicle for activism for them. Then of course, we got it on and popping with amazing performances. This conference, it's important to uplift the five core elements of hip hop culture. So of course we had DJs, we had MCs, we had dancers, we had graffiti, holding down the space, and of course, the conference really is dedicated to making sure we have knowledge of self, knowledge of the culture to empower us for the next 50 and beyond. Something that was really important for Hip Hop X this year is to take this moment and all of this celebration of history to really acknowledge those folks who are right here in the local community of Boston and Cambridge who have been committed to doing amazing, excellent work in hip hop education and culture in schools and in community organizations. So we actually tapped some of Boston's amazing hip hop artists and educators to co-design this year's program with us. Hip Hop X understands that we have a privilege to operate outside of a pretty historic higher ed institution, but we are also very intentional to make known and to make reverence for those who really keep holding down the culture in its true form, and that's in community. So we didn't want to think about where we could go next without taking this moment to really invite those folks who have been doing amazing work into the design of the program. So they helped us figure out which panels we would have. On Saturday, we had two panels, one for our up and coming youngsters who are gonna be the leaders in the future, and a second panel with our leaders who are holding it down now and have been looked to as veterans. They wanted to expose how no matter what age range you're in, we do have to take a moment to listen to each other so that we can keep protecting and promoting the beauty that is this culture. Our local partners also helped us organize a block party. Now, block parties usually mean we're gonna be outside, there's gonna be some food, there's gonna be music and just lots of celebration. And even though Mother Nature ended up not cooperating, we did what hip hoppers do, we remixed it and turned it into a block party indoors. We had performers like Definitely Crew. We had OGs from the Boston breaking scene like the Floor Lords, like Megatron and Shallow. We had so many folks in the space just vibing with each other, having a good time. We had our partners, a trike called Funk, holding down the throwback linoleum black and white dance floor, emceeing the whole event to get folks together. My parents were even there holding it down for my true OGs to show that they still want to learn what this hip hop culture means, why is it so relevant, and how they too have played a part in keeping it going. 
So where do we go from here after this historical year, after so many elements of a block party, of workshops, of performances, of panels? Well, of course, we're gonna be back for year eight and we want folks to join us and support us. Make sure you stay checking out Hip Hop X online. Our Instagram is Hip Hop X Lab. But say you can't join us next spring and you're really intrigued about what you're seeing and hearing. What does it mean for those who are still trying to figure out the real meaning of hip hop? Well, 50 years proved to everyone that this wasn't just some passing fad. And it isn't just what you hear on the radio or see when you swipe really quickly on your phones. If you're still curious to learn more about hip hop, we live in such an amazing time where through the power of a message through social media, you could get connected with one of our our OGs. You can get connected with resources in the form of humans, of institutions, of organizations in your area or nationally and even internationally. There are so many colleges and universities that are now having programs in hip hop education. There are conferences all over the place. There are battles, there's competitions, there are concerts, there's classes, courses, everything. So if you wanna be part of the wave that's gonna keep going to the next 50 and beyond, get online, follow Hip Hop X, and please join us next spring. 